So today's a scrimmage event for a robotics competition. So just like you might do in pre-season sports, that's what these guys are doing. They've worked six weeks. They put together 150, up to 150 pound robots and it's of their creation. So these students are solving real engineering problems and this is where their first time they've been on a competition setting before they go to the real thing. So each game is two minutes and 30 seconds long. 15 seconds of it is autonomous where the robot can only control itself. So the students have to program these things, make them smart. Only smart as the people who program them, so that's part of the competition. In all sense of the words, it's a sport in terms of people interacting, trying to achieve a, a common goal. It's just using technology as well as their, their brains. So this is a sport of the mind. We call it Columbus Robotics Alliance. So as we try to find the structure, we want to see some Carver kids here. We want to see some Spencer kids here. In the past, we've, we've had that. We've had six different schools on the team at one time. This is the first year where we've only had Columbus, and part of it has to do with is uh, changes of the schedule and then trying to get teachers where they, they know they have time to do it. So we're growing pains, but we're, we're going to reorganize, get some more schools involved. But, uh, but it's about 15 students, and those students are pretty equally distributed between seniors and freshmen. So that's good. That means that a, you should expect to see it carry on, especially as we try to expand. If someone goes to school for engineering, they, they don't get what these kids are getting, which is from the beginning, where you come up with a set of ideas to meet some requirements, to the development phase, the testing phase, and then when you actually implement it, sort of like the product. They have to do all of that. The students who get involved with this are going to be able to come back to any community they're part of and in terms of being problem solvers, things like that. So we're going to, we're going to find ways to communicate this and get people excited about it.